If you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out FootCoinKing.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns Bundesliga. As you can tell in the last episode, we got a huge addition to the team, which is Lewandowski. Um, one of the easily the, he is the highest rated striker in the Bundesliga currently, and hopefully he can do some damage and win me some decent money to get some decent players into the team. Now, if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. And if you want to get a game capture device, make sure you check out El Gato. Their link is down there as well. So we. We have quite a few silvers in there. The aim of the game now is to get rid of all the silvers, move on to gold, and we come up against this team. Now, Cameron Jerome is a pain in my ass. He generally is. I come up against him in the BPL wager showdowns. He's back again now with a dangerous right midfielder next to him as well, which is McCleary. And as you can see, Jerome doing the damage early on, running straight on through and smashing it past my keeper in the 19th minute. Also, guys, if you do enjoy this series, remember to drop a like rating on it. The team of the year is round the corner. Woo! Can't wait to fucking wager for them. It's going to be intense. It's going to be expensive. And it's going to be annoying because I've not found the perfect ground for this team yet. And absolutely stunning second goal there scored by my opponent and then thankfully we were able to start well, Fredin passes through to Lewandowski, he sees the inside ball and he's able to smash it past the keeper basically a tramp goal but it was a goal which was needed to get us back into the game. In the 38th minute before halftime, some nice dribbling by Lewandowski again, slotting it past the keeper, making it 2-2. Now the game was well and truly on. Now, usually when I go two goals down, I don't usually get smashed. And thankfully, I am able to um, pick up momentum and get going with the team again. Lewandowski running on through, actually not being greedy this time and laying it off to s -Wine. And you've seen three very similar goals to walk away with the first victory of the game. Uh, of the episode, sorry, and managed to get top rack into the team. A very good centre back, non rare Bundesliga centre back. If you're looking to get someone into your Bundesliga team, costs a couple of hundred coins and uh, does the job. Now with him in the team, it does line us up, line us up to get some decent um, players in there. The likes of Boateng, the likes of Hummels, um, Javi Martinez as well if you want to go for him. Um, but currently we're, we're looking to get some more rare, non-rare uh, gold in the team and get rid of these silvers. Even though some of them are very good, some of them are very bad. Um, the likes of Kalas, I'm really going off Kalas. Um, don't really like Baster either. I don't mind Eswine, don't find, mind Leitner, uh, but we are going to try and get rid of Leitner now. Also on my Alanda is becoming the star player of the series. He is ridiculous. If you've used him, let me know what you think of him and whether you have purchased him and uh, agree with me that he's really good. So, the next team we come up against is a very nice looking championship team again. And guess who's up front? Cameron motherfucking Jerome. He is becoming a pain in the ass. And this game was very, very scrappy. Um, scrappy in a way which I don't usually like to play games. And um, it was... It was just fucking tackling and, and misplaced passes all the time, which seems to happen quite a lot in FIFA nowadays. Like you've seen there in the couple of seconds I've shown you the, the game clips, you've seen um, some horrendous shots and uh, Melanda getting on the score sheet at the end of it. But it's terrible. The passing was terrible. This game was just complete uh, and utter shit. And thankfully, we do walk away with a 1 0 win, even though we could have scored a lot more goals. So, 1 0 win in the second game of the episode takes us two wins out of two, and it does see two goal players get added into the team. The, now, the goal player we've added into the team now is actually not that bad. Um, Berami, his name is a very good player, one of the most liked on footed. That's the reason I went for him. And it does line us up to go for Schweinsteiger now to finish off the episode. So, fingers crossed. We can get Schweinsteiger in the team, and then that's two Bayern Munich lock-ins ready for team of the year. Um, it's probably still a while away. Hopefully, we can get them a bit cheaper than they're going to be going for in the first week. But um, I don't know who's in it yet, and we won't find out till Monday who is in actually team of the year. So we come up against a nice-looking team with uh, Inform Griezmann, Inform Lacazette. I think you may have seen me play this guy before, but he was he was back at it again. He wanted another chat, another try, and, and there were very even games we did play also. So, yet again, um, knocking on the door for a very long time, unable to break on through, and um, he, he kept catching me on the counter-attack. I played possession football against him, did it very good. I just could not unlock his defence, and every time he went on a counter-attack, he was very dangerous. As you can see there, Griezmann running straight past the goalkeeper, as I like to do to my opponents, and he does make it 1-0. Now, in the 70th minute, we've been trying a corner, uh, corner technique, where you bring one of the players towards you, you select every player to run to the near post, and there's usually a free guy there, and thankfully it worked 
this time and Lewandowski was able to get his head on the ball and make it 1-1 and actually um, see us start getting into the game. Now the next clip you are seeing is obviously us attacking and this was basically what was happening throughout the whole of the uh, game. As you can see how many people he has there and thankfully Melanda is there to get on the um, on the end of a loose ball and actually put it past the keeper making it 2-1. There was a bit of abuse going on to his goalkeeper in the background but I don't care. So there we are, 2-1 win. Three wins out of three, and we have got Schweinsteiger locked in to the centre midfield position next to Holtby and next to Jansen and Toprak. So fingers crossed we can get some bigger and better players in the next couple of episodes, guys, and your continued support on this series is awesome. Try and smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, check out Footcoin King for your ultimate team coins. Also, if you do want to partake in any of these wager matches, check out Gamersaloon.com, their link is there. And we'll be back another day with another um, another episode of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns um, and warming up for them team of the year players which will be entering the team sometime in the next couple of weeks.